Hi, I'm Karen, Communications Assistant with the West Michigan Airport Authority. I'm here at West Michigan Regional Airport and will be meeting up with Russ Roberts, one of Tulip City Air Service's longtime pilots. Russ will be giving us a brief overview of the FAA emergency training that is taking place today and talking about how the airport is a valuable community asset. Here's Russ. FAA requires every so often that we do emergency training. What does that consist of? Oh, there's a lot of different things. Um, evacuation of the aircraft, uh, flotation devices, uh, fire extinguishers. Um, I mean, we're just doing aircraft emergency training at the moment right now. Um, like that. But there's lots of other stuff that it involves also. Well, people don't realize the value that the airport has for the community and stuff. I mean, if you look at Gentex Corporation, they have a couple airplanes there. They're going and doing business out there. They're bringing people into the community. Um, you know, sometimes president CEOs of companies and stuff like that that are doing business, that are creating jobs in the community. So. What about small businesses and medium-sized businesses? Oh gosh, there's. Yeah, you know, I mean, we do charter, and there's a couple of small businesses have their own airplanes, and they're so they're flying from here to whatever point to do their business, coming back in the same day, and. And um, so it's very handy. It allows them to be able to do things faster and quicker, and um, be more productive with the with the time, and help grow their businesses and create more jobs in the area. Speaking of charters, following shows a typical scenario of a Tulip City Air Service charter flight. <laughs> 